is actually a working farm. The animals have, uh, you know, they roam freely. Dartmoor's quite unusual because obviously we've got lots of livestock on there. So you've got cattle, you've got sheep, you've got horses, all the ponies, um, and also have a lot of visitors. Many of the roads across the open moorland are unfenced. The livestock is able to wander about, and it's one of the great characteristics of that, of that open air moorland plateau. But we are losing hundreds of animals a year. We're not losing tens, we're losing hundreds of animals a year on Dartmoor. And that's ponies, um, bullocks, and sheep. We probably get um, between sort of six and eight ponies, maybe about four cattle a year, maybe a couple of calves, sheep, probably eight or ten sheep. Um, we do, the numbers build up. It's distressing for the farmer, it's a loss to his um, income as well, uh, and it's also distressing for, the, for those vehicle drivers and passengers involved. The whole idea is to actually have a greater awareness of um, seeing the animals and they will reflect on both sides, that's the whole idea. And also the biggest thing is, is they will break. So if they get hooked up on a tree or, or whatever, then they, they can break free quite easily. So the collars that they put in place will hopefully give people more of an awareness, especially during the night time, which I think predominantly sometimes is when a lot of the animals are possibly getting hit. 150 collars for the cows, 80 for the ponies and um, importantly, unlike Speedwatch, it is out there 24-7. So at night, when I can't be out there, um, hopefully they'll still be showing up. If we have these, and people see them, and people ask about them, and then we can educate people, and it's all a whole ongoing process. And um, thanks to Vision Zero, and I mean that sincerely, is the fact that we've got some money, we're trying something, and if it works, we'll carry on. I really hope that it will give people that awareness that the animals are there, and um, yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> Dartmoor is a beautiful place with a lot of uh, lovely animals and not a place where you need to rush around. Enjoy the moors, enjoy Dartmoor, but just slow down a little bit and keep an eye on the animals. <laughs>